By the mid-1950s, it became obvious that within a decade, the university's central book collection would exceed the capacity of the Sigmund Samuel Library. To meet the needs of a rapidly growing university community, with its increasing demands for library services, a detailed proposal for a new library was presented in 1965, and the designers and architects were retained. Three years were spent in planning the 14 floors, two levels of basement, and the two adjoining wings which comprise the Robarts complex. Then, it was up to the construction crews. A mountain of earth was excavated, more than 150,000 cubic yards. Ninety-seven thousand cubic feet of concrete was poured. The lineup of trucks, had it occurred, would have stretched from Toronto to Buffalo. And that was only the beginning. Fourteen thousand five hundred gallons of paint were used in the interior alone, not to mention six hundred and thirty-four miles of electrical wiring and enough light bulbs and fluorescent fixtures to light either of the Toronto Dominion Center towers. Gradually, it all took shape. June 1971 and December 1972 saw the completion of the two adjoining wings housing the Faculty of Library Science and the Department of Rare Books and Special Collections the Thomas Fisher Rare Book Library. And then, after nearly five years of construction, the final part of the complex, the John P. Robarts Library, was officially handed over to the University of Toronto. The cost? Just under $42 million. Books, space for more than four million of them on over 100 miles of shelving, and more. 3,000 personal study places and seats in reading rooms of various kinds. 18 graduate study rooms, a microfilm reading room with space for 60 people, a government publication service with shelving for 250,000 volumes, even a free checking service for 3,600 coats. But the heart of any library is its book collection. Contained in the entire University of Toronto library system are more than four million items, making the collection by far the largest in Canada. The Robarts Library shares in this huge resource and contains at present about one million volumes, to which some 60,000 will be added every year. A magnificent building, an exceptional collection. The Robarts Library is remarkable by any standard. Gutenberg would never have believed it. <laughs>